up and down on the Z axis and up and down on the Y axis. Now if you hold down the left mouse button, you can move forward on the X axis and turn on the Z axis. Now, if you hold just the right mouse button, you start turning on the X axis and you can move around on the Z axis. So, now on the 2D perspective, um, left and right mouse button is to zoom in and out and holding down the left button is to pan so and the right button is to pan also so let's get these even and zoom them out so we can see everything okay now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little CSP um, basic test bed model so the way it works is sort of like a brush so this will be this little red cube right here is our brush. So let's modify it. Let's click it. I right click this cube. This will let us uh, modify the properties. So what we're going to want to do is set this to something usable. So let's make a flat plane. Let's make it 120, the x axis. Turn 24. the y-axis now what this does is scale it on each one of these axes so and the width 32 okay <coughs> so now that we have this somewhat okay looking plan we need a we need to make it an actual object so what you do is the CSP CSG add button so this will set our plane now that works but Let's make some walls for our test bed. So now, as you can see, this is a little big for our use. So let's set the x-axis to 256. This will give us a decent wall size. Now, as you can see, it's flat, and we need it to be a wall, so we need to rotate it. So if you press space once, you should get the rotation tool. Each elliptical rotates on a different axis. So right now we want to, I can get this view right. Right now we want to rotate on the Y axis. So let's rotate that by 90 degrees. If you look down at the very bottom of the screen right here, it will have the rotation. So let's zoom out on each one of our axes, each one of our viewpoints. Now, if you press space again, you come to the scale tool. Now, this is simple. It's just hold and it'll scale depending on which area you want to do, which area you pull at. So let's just leave that back. Press space again and you'll come back to our, our moving gizmo. So let's move this into position. Let's try to line it up as much as we can. Now, remember, you have four viewpoints. So you use each one to your advantage. CSG add. Okay, now it's now we'll just rotate it on the z-axis. Let's just place this in position. Okay, <coughs> so now we have a little um, test room. So this will be used in further tutorials. So now we need a player start. So right click, add actor, player start. Now you should see some joy uh, joystick looking um, object. So just place this wherever you want your player to start. Now if we were to run this now, there would be no light. So it would be completely black, black. So let's add a light so same process right click add actor add light now you should see a simple point light on your screen now 
what we need to do in order for this to work correctly is first we need to build the geometry so on top of your screen there should be a, a little cube with like a gray outline so click click this and it'll start building the geometry you should get something around this area around to this effect then build the light now when you build the light it's going to start up swarm now personally i have swarm configured to run only on my local machine but if you have a farm or you don't mind it trying to find um, connections you can just leave it alone so press ok <coughs> so here you see swarm just open it up on my, my machine Here it's um, building my light now. When it's done, you'll, it'll, you'll notice the change. So let's close this. Now what I want to show you is how to turn, put Swarm in local mode, just in case you don't have a phone. So what you can do is click Settings and scroll down. When you see this, Enable Standalone Mode, switch it from False to True. And that's it. Now going back to our test bed. Now, you can see how it's starting to come together. It looks, it's, it makes a nice little testing area. Now, let's say we want to test the level. There's two ways we can do this. Inside the editor, which uses the same application process as the editor, or on the PC, which would be as if it was an, a separate application. For now, we're just going to use in editor. So go to build, play level, in editor. Now, you should see something like this. If you did it correctly, um, space should be up, space should um, advance you on the z-axis, and you just move around as an FPS camera. So there should be collision. Now, in editor mode, we can close the game by pressing the escape button. <coughs> Alright, so save this. Let's go to our content directory, so go to development source, your mod name, content, packages. So now let's name this test bed. Save it, and we're done here. So close out your editor. Now, what we're going to finally do is open up the front end. Now, I'm going to show you how to package your game. So here, you should